Minnesota Timberwolves, the number three overall seed in the Western Conference to beat the Phoenix Suns, who are the sixth seed. I'm changing my mind. I'm going with the Suns to win this series. Now, I'm fully aware that the new look Suns never quite lived up to preseason expectations. But Phoenix has suffered a rash of injuries early in the season and underperformed even when the big three, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, and Devin Booker were healthy. But the bottom line is they avoided the playing game and now face the Timberwolves in the first round. And I'm just looking at some of these numbers, ladies and gentlemen, I, I got to admit to you, these are scary. So first of all, understand that Devin Booker and Kevin Durant are the only teammates to each average at least 27 points per game this season. I'm looking at the Timberwolves. They're 56 and 23 in the season, right? I'm just looking at them right now, and I'm just wondering about it. Against, I'm sorry, 56 and 23 against 28 teams in the NBA, which is considered to be a remarkable turnaround. But they're 0 and 3 against the Suns this year. 0 and 3. Losses of 19, 18, and 10. They were up by 23 yesterday, with three minutes to play before the Wolves bench closed with a 13 0 run to mask the final score. They were getting blown out, okay? Do y'all know that the Timberwolves have never been within single digits in the second half in any of those games? They've never been within single digits in the second half of any of those games. And I'm looking at that and I'm saying to myself, excuse me. Then I got to take into account you're the number one defense in terms of defensive efficiency in the, in, in the NBA. And I got to think about Rudy Gobert, who's in line to win another defensive player of the year. Well, he's already got three. But this Rudy Gobert is the same Rudy Gobert that you can pull away from the basket and he's a liability for you. That was one of the things that frustrated Donovan Mitchell and the folks in Utah when they were both in Utah. Well, now here they have here Rudy Gobert is. He's in Minnesota. And what are we talking about here? Against the Phoenix Suns with Rudy Gobert on the floor. The Wolves have been outscored by 25, 26, and 17 points in those three games with Rudy Gobert on the floor. He's a liability for them against Phoenix. Because in Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal, you don't have to go to the hole to score. You can shoot jump shots all day, every day. Ain't a damn thing they could do about it. I'm worried. I'm worried for Minnesota. I want to see Ant-Man advance. I want to see his star blossom. But it's a lot to ask. A team that sometimes is offensively challenged to go up against a Phoenix Suns team where they can score in their sleep. I'm very worried about this. Sun shot 49% for three-point range in the three-game season sweep of the Wolves. 49% for three-point range. Minnesota's 19 first-half turnover Sunday against the Suns tied an NBA record. 19 turnovers in the first half. Phoenix was 26-15 with the big three on the court. But what I'm thinking is that styles make fights and Minnesota's style of play doesn't bode well for them against Phoenix. Kevin Durant... Devin Booker and Bradley Beal is something to behold offensively. Bradley Beal is relevant in the postseason for the first time in nearly a decade. Devin Booker is the modern day Kobe as far as I'm concerned. Look at his game. Look at his mannerisms. It's just very, very similar. And Kevin Durant is KD, y'all. He's a two-time champion. He's a two-time NBA Finals MVP. And I don't want to hear this BS about how Kevin Durant is under more pressure come playoff time than, dare I say, somebody like a James Harden or somebody else. We'll get into all of that later on in this week because we're going to talk a lot of NBA this week. I'm just saying, y'all, I got to look at this for what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna